Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to introduce one of the useful tools for software testers. That is ScreenFly. So what exactly is this ScreenFly? Let me explain. As software testers, we need to test our, we need to test our web application at different resolutions guys. As software testers, we need to test our web application at different resolutions. Why we need to test our web application at different resolutions? Because there are a lot of devices in the market. So it may be desktops or it may be different models of mobile phones. It may be different models of tablets. And there are some situations where we have mobile plus tablet things also nowadays. Now, apart from this, nowadays, we can even browse our web applications on different models of televisions also. Now, if I have to test my web application at different resolutions, I need to purchase all these devices. It may not be possible every time, guys, okay? If the budget is a concern in my project, then for testing my web application at this different type of resolution supported by these different desktops, mobiles, tablets, mobile plus tablets, televisions, and so on, it may not be possible, guys, okay? It will be over my head, right? A lot of budget is required for that. Is there any way or an alternative way so that we can test our web application without purchasing all these devices for testing at different resolutions? Yes, guys. The simple and straightforward answer for this is it's something like screenfly.org, okay? This website. We need to browse this screenfly.org. Let's do that. I'll show you how to test your web application without purchasing all those devices or at different resolutions, okay? We just need to go for ScreenFly. You can Google search if you want. If you don't want to remember ScreenFly.org, simply Google search ScreenFly. You will get this first link as ScreenFly.org. Click on this link. And here, let's say uh, you want to test one application. Let's say you want to test this uh, QFOX.com, okay? You want to test this QFOX.com. So copy this application and paste it here. Okay, browse application somewhere and copy the entire URL and paste here and click on go guys. Just click on go. So it got uh, some, some default resolution. My application got displayed in one default uh, resolution. Now I want to specifically test my web application on, uh, let's say on a tablet, which tablet, Apple, iPad I want. Okay, I want to test the resolution of my web application, okay. I want to check whether this web application works at the resolution provided by this Apple iPod, iPad. Okay, for that, just select that option. Select this uh, tablet option and select Apple iPad. That's it, okay? This is how the Apple iPad is. Okay, now let's uh, do one more thing. Let's go with uh, iPad Pro. Okay, this is the resolution of the iPad Pro. It's kind of big actually compared to that. Otherwise, I want to test uh, whether the, my web application is uh, working fine at the proper resolution of uh, Apple iPhone 5. Okay, like this. I need to select the different options, okay? If I have to test my web application on Apple iPhone 5, you see, this web application, that is qfox.com, is perfectly working fine, right? You see, all the articles are properly uh, adjusted to the resolution of this uh, Apple iPhone 5. Like that, there are several options here on this screenfly.org. You don't have to purchase uh, different variations of the desktop, okay? If your web application supports uh, different desktops, you don't have to purchase that, right? Simply browse this application in the screenfly.org and uh, select the options, okay? Which desktop? I want to test on, uh, let's say 10 notebook, net, uh, what is that? Netbook, 10 inches netbook, okay? So this is the resolution of the 10 inches netbook. Now simply test it whether you can, just by seeing also you can say that, okay, whether the application is supporting this, right? This resolution or not. You don't have to purchase this uh, 10 inch netbook for this purpose, simple. So like that, many variations are there. So Kindle, Fire HD, Samsung Galaxy Tab, all the popular options are available here. Coming to the mobiles also, there are different options as you can see, Apple iPhone 6, 7 and so on. And there is one more interesting option guys, uh, uh, if in case of this mobiles or tablets, right? You can also like uh, rotate the device and see whether uh, the application is perfectly displayed. Because all the times, uh, for example, if I take this, uh, what is that? Apple Nexus, uh, 
or any other thing let me take okay let me take mobile only guys that will be easy okay you see here vertical height is more in case of uh, apple iphone 3 by 4 you see the vertical height is more than the horizontal width right horizontal width height is more than the width that is as part of the resolution of this particular device apple iphone 3 by 4 you see the height is more and width is uh, kind of less now sometimes what i can do is i can rotate okay i can rotate the screen of my iphone this particular device so how can i do that how can i simulate that for that there is an option here guys rotate screen option click on that you see when you rotate this will be like that okay your i iphone will be rotated like this and uh, height will be like this and uh, width, width will be like this so these are the options guys and uh, sometimes you don't want this scroll option to be there okay there is some scroll option here you want to disable it okay you want to check without scroll option you want to check with scroll option lot of options are there here okay even nowadays right uh, even our uh, we can even browse our web applications on our televisions also there are different models of tv televisions maybe here all the different uh, resolutions of the televisions they have given because all the televisions come up with the different sizes let's say i want to test on this 720 television okay we got uh, 720 p television okay this is how it, sh it should be right this is how it should be fine so guys uh, this is uh, what is actually screenfly.org and how does it help Hope you understood it, right? As a tester, we need to test our web application at different resolutions supported by different devices like this. For that, we cannot purchase all these devices, guys. Simply, we'll browse our application on the screenfly.org and select the appropriate devices and test, test whether our application is supporting all the resolutions supported by all these devices, all the pro provided devices. So, hope guys, you understood. Uh, how to use the screenfly.org for this purpose. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.